Welcome back to the special unexpected surprise. I have Geophagus winning Milleri babies. I just uploaded a video last night on YouTube talking about how I wanted to breed these guys and I woke up from a nap today and my in-laws are actually the ones that told me about it. Um, they were watching my son give me some relief and give me some time to do my aquatics couple days of the week which is awesome of them they're awesome people but uh yeah they surprised me woke me or surprised me and uh told me i had fry down here and well as you can see they're here uh one thing that does kind of concern me here is if you notice that the parents ran away and have abandoned these babies now they said that they saw a lot more like that's not even half of them i guess so who knows if they're still holding them. I don't know if these guys just didn't fit back into their mouths or whatnot. But I went ahead and scooped them up and put them in a tub here. And uh, as you guys know on my video from before, these water parameters are the complete opposite of what these fish require. As far as what their profile said, which is soft acidic water. And this is hard alkalitic water. Temperature was even lower. They prefer 78 to 86. Temperature is actually around 76. So I guess they can breed in multiple parameters. And uh, as you can see, they still got some of their yolk sacs on them. Very cool. Love how they school up like that. Little eyeballs. Little bellies. But uh, yeah, totally stoked about this. Um... I thought it'd be the pair in the 125 that would breed before these guys, but I guess not. But uh, that's the beautiful thing about this hobby. You wake up to some good surprises sometimes. Uh, here I'm just kind of floating them. This is going to be their new home. I'm going to catch all these fish out of there. They're red neon rainbows, pseudos, and signifer pseudos. This tank's actually riddled with Daphnia, which I'm trying to show you there. If you see them white specks everywhere, those are actually Daphnias. And uh, the green water film on the bottom, so being omnivores, they'll get a lot of food in this tank. I definitely wasn't planning on having to do a part two of this, that's for sure. But since it happened, I figured I'd share with you guys. And, uh... Yeah, as you can see, they're just all balled up, doing fine in their new home now, which is awesome. Just awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed.